up YouTube? Dear God, what's my route for 2020? Choosing your personal theme. I want to make this really short uh, YouTube video. I know it's my first video for the year. Check out the podcast where we actually talk about, we have a guest on the show and how she's choosing her 2020 and um, her personal theme. Super inspiring. I mean, we're talking about Una Mujer Mayor. She's 86 years old. Her fifth career change, like, amazing you can you, you can't keep walking around saying you can't do something or you don't have time or you don't do this and all these excuses this 86 year old is like kicking booty anyway so I want to talk about how to choose your personal theme for the year because people have goals and then guess what by February you don't even stick to them you have resolutions they go out the door because you're just like what is the true meaning so this is how I came up with my personal theme for 2020 first of all how how do I want to grow in 2020? That's the first thing I say. It's like, how do I want to grow? Not why, because I always use, use why, right? Por qué, por qué, por qué, but how? How do I want to grow? And once I answer that question, it kind of starts to put all these things in my mind of like, okay, well, I want to be able to do this. And it becomes, the answer becomes action, cogiendo acción en nuestra vida. Because we could say we want to do one thing, but then our actions speak completely different. And then we realize that at the end of the year or even two months down the road, we're not even close to what we want to do. The next one is honor. How can we honor ourselves and keep ourselves to accountability? You know, this year I knew it's going to be, and it's not even about because it's a new year, it's because it's a new decade. Like, I was talking to my best friend and like all the past decades, in the past decades that I've been living, you know, it's been it's been a great ride, but there's been, just been so much just stuff. And not saying that there's not going to be stuff in the new generation, in this new generation, but or this new decade. But I just feel that I like I'm an adult now. Does that make any even sense? Like I'm an adult now. Like yeah, I was an adult before, but now I'm like I feel more of an adult. I feel more. Um, not really on the little petty responsibilities that yes I'm used to that already you know so being honoring myself and having the personal accountability is so important so I want you to think about that how are you going to honor yourself and the, your personal accountability are you gonna have a planner are you gonna have a personal accountability friend are you gonna be calling you know tell tell your dream to your partner your mom your dad your uncle whoever and um, and basically, you know, ask them like, hey, help me be on top of this. The next one is open. You have to be open in your theme. Will your personal theme you have to be open to change and open to things that might not go your way? Um, my personal theme, and I kind of talked about this in another video, was um, just consistency, but in a in a in a clarity point of view. Like I want to be clear in everything that I do. I want to be clear. And every choice, like even if it's not the right choice, I want to be clear to myself to say, yes, I'm making this choice. I'm clear, I have clarity of what I feel at this moment. So you have to be open that the roads in your life might not go your way, but does your personal theme allow, align with that openness? And then the last one is willpower. You gotta have the willpower, man. Seriously, like, para la vaina de que, de que tanto excusa que tú no puedes hacer esto y esto y ay, yo. everybody is going through some mierda okay so let's like and that's I guess like the tough love in myself that I get from my dad that when I was growing up he was like para tu mierda que tú puedes hacer lo que tú quieres da, 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 da. and it's true like it's tough love thank you papi but it's tough love but it also let me realize that like all the things in my life that I would have been able to accomplish was that willpower or even the failures in my life was willpower to finish through and I don't even consider it as a failure I consider it as a lesson so choose your personal theme for 2020 and um, yes I'm gonna try to do more videos check out the podcast and um, next week I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for an amazing brand so stay posted. All right, you guys, hasta la quinta de la mañana. Hasta la quinta. Dear God, are we there yet?